Hello students, in this case study it is given that we all have seen the airplanes flying in the sky but might have not thought of how they actually reach the correct destination. Air traffic control ATC is a service provided by ground based air traffic controllers who direct aircraft on the ground and through a given section of control airspace. So information about ATC is given. Our main question starts from here. ATC finds that the angle of elevation of an airplane from a point on the ground is 60 degree. So suppose here is your plane and angle of elevation from this point is 60 degree. After a flight of, suppose this is A, okay, this is our first original position. After a flight of 30 seconds, it is observed that angle of elevation changes to 30. So from 60 to 30, that means airplane is going far from us. Okay, we are here. We are here. So that means now it will be at B position after the 30 seconds flight. And angle of elevation now is, this angle is 30 degree. The height of the plane remains constantly as 3000 root 3 meter. That means this height from here, this is 3000 root 3 and this height also. Wherever plane will go, height will be constant. It is mentioned. Meter. Then use the above information to answer the question that follow. Draw a neat labeled figure to show the above situation diagrammatically. We already did that. Let this point be O and then uh, this can be C and D. Okay, so O, A, B, C, D will get. Then considering the same diagram, we'll uh, answer some questions. This is for two marks. What is the distance traveled by the plane in 30 seconds? So see actually, I need to draw it again here. A, B, I supposed this as 60, this as 30, this is O, this I think C and D, okay. So now what they have, uh, what are they asking? Distance travelled by the plane in 30 seconds means plane is here and a plane is here and then this distance they are asking. So since uh, C, D and A, B are parallel, that means they are asking C, D distance. Now, if we apply, if we apply trigonometric concept in this triangle, we can find OC length. How? OC length, how can we find? Considering triangle OAC. So, if we are considering triangle OAC, this 60 degree you should consider. And you should include, uh, height is given, no? 3000. So, you should include opposite height and adjacent side because OC we need. So, that means to uh, for this opposite and adjacent we need 10 angle and a 10 ratio. So, 1060 will be AC by OC. 1060 is root 3. AC is 3000 root 3. Root 3 cancel. OC I will get as 3000 meters. Okay, now what can be done here? In OBD triangle, in OBD triangle, we will apply trigonometric ratio concept with the angle, with the angle, this 30 degree. And here also height is given. I need to find OD length. Okay, so in triangle OBD now, again, to connect opposite and adjacent sides, we need 10 ratio. So, 10, 30 will be BD by OD. So, 10, 30 is 1 by root 3. BD is 3000 root 3 and OD. So, OD will be how much? Cross multiply 3000 root 3 into root 3. That is 3000 into 3. That is 9000 meters. Now, see what happens here. 9000 this full length, 
this is 3000 so can we find the remaining cd yes if we subtract oc from od that is 9000 minus 3000 we can find distance traveled in 30 seconds by the plane so 6000 meter that is this distance is the required distance okay now our part of the question we will see in next slide i hope you understood this question so now in the second part what are they saying keeping the height constant during the above flight it was observed that after this much seconds the angle of elevation changed to 45 that means beginning angle will be same okay that is a and this was o for us this was 60 degree okay but now after the flight of this much second 15 root 3 minus 1 seconds it has been reached to different uh, destination and angle of elevation from now from this point is 45 okay and height is same that is 3000 root 3 and here also 3000 root 3 so suppose this is uh, this one we know already you know OC is same OC is same and this point let it be n so OC we got OC distance we got already which is 3000 meter so now how much is the distance travel in that duration means to find cn we'll find on and then uh, cn will be on minus oc same procedure but with different angle that's it so now already we have found 300 to 3000 meter so i will find on first so to find on i need this triangle omn And again here I need to connect the adjacent side and opposite side. So I will take 1045 degree which is MN by ON. 1045 is N, uh, 1. MN is 3000 root 3. So ON will be 3000 root 3. And then CN we can find by subtracting OC from ON. So 3000 take common root 3 minus 1 meter. Okay, that is the difference only with new angle of elevation. So nothing to do with this seconds. It is given to confuse you people. That's it. So moving to the next question. What is the speed of the plane in kilometer per hour? Okay, now we need that time because to find speed, what is the speed formula? Distance by time okay so distance uh, cover this total distance covered is 3000 root 3 minus 1 meter right and time is given 15 root 3 minus 1 so if this bracket we cancel from 15 if we cancel 200 it is meter per hour meter per second okay because time was in given in second and distance was given in meter but we need in kilometer Per hour. So what we will do to convert into meter we will divide uh, sorry to kilometer we will divide by 1000 and here second we need to convert into R. So we will multiply here with 60 into 60. So final answer will be how much after cancelling zeros here 3 zeros here 2 zero here. So 12 into 60. 720 kilometer per hour okay so this is the final answer i hope you understood thank you